I thought it was about time I came on it did a bit of a um, life update really I haven't actually vlogged or vlogged since the end of August um, just before we went on holiday so I thought I'd um, get a cup of tea I've already done a haul this morning so I'm on a bit of a roll and um, just sort of let you know what's going on really because I've missed being part of this little community I've still been watching people's videos and everything um, I just haven't been finding time to actually sit down and film and speak to you guys so before I start rambling on I'll um, get to it I've written some bits and bobs down so if I'm looking down then that's why yeah like I said I haven't blogged or vlogged since August I believe I haven't blogged or vlogged since August I felt so bad I got asked to do a review and it wasn't until I'd written the post and um you know was having a look at it and thought oh my god um my computer's actually had a virus <laughs> since about then and I just haven't done anything about it I actually um won a voucher to spend at our um computer shop in our village so I thought do you know what I'm just going to see if they can have a look at it. I mean, it's really old. It's like eight years old and some of the keys are missing and Harry stood on it once. So one of the hinges is a bit dodgy, um, but I took it in and they managed to sort it out for me. So, and I didn't have to spend any money. So that's good because I have my voucher. So that's that sorted. So I feel a bit more like, right, you know, I've got my equipment and everything now. I can get back on it a bit. Um, so yeah, like I said, I haven't actually... The last vlogs that I did um, was like my packing for holiday and I'm so glad that I sorted things out before we went. We actually went to France on the Saturday, yeah the Saturday and the whole week before I'd been feeling poorly, really sort of um, like virusy, edging on fluey but um, I went to the doctors. Um, I actually, one of my jobs I actually um, work at our local doctor surgery so I popped in to see one of the doctors and she had a look at my glands and did my temperature and everything and she said no no you're fine you, you know a good rest and you'll be alright. I thought right okay going on holiday and um, you know that can be my rest. On the Friday I felt so bad I couldn't even move out of bed and I was contemplating not going. We were going on a ferry and I'm travel sick, like seasick anyway. Um, not that I was worried about that. Um, but so I went back to the doctor's on the Friday and he checked me over again and everything and said, no, there's nothing there. I don't want to give you anything because it could make you worse. So got back into bed. <laughs> Poor Ian had both the boys. He still had little errands and things to go and do. And um, yeah. I, I was so glad that I'd sorted all of our clothes well. I thought I'd sorted all our clothes out. I um, We got to France and realised we'd forgotten a few things, but nothing major. Um, so yeah, poor Ian had to pack everything, um, sort it all out, and I'm normally a bit of a control freak like that, so he was um, he was really, really good. Um, and on the Saturday morning, um, we left at about half past two, I think, Saturday morning. I basically slept the whole day Friday, all through the evening, woke up the Saturday morning, I literally, my parents came round to help Ian with the boys to get them just sort of out of their pyjamas, well not out of their pyjamas, but out of bed and into the car and um, I literally got dressed, got in the car, went back to sleep, slept all the way to Dover, got on the boat, slept all the way to France, got to France and um, we had about an hour and a half drive, two hour drive, um, to the house we were staying in slept all the way there apart from the tolls I had to do the tolls because they were on my side and um, slept when we got to the house for a bit as well and I must admit I didn't feel completely right again until sort of the Sunday Sunday morning Sunday afternoon um, but I'm so glad I went because I was saying to Ian just take the boys just go by yourself um, but we had a really lovely time um, I need to do some posts about it really. We didn't really do much, we didn't do sort of touristy things that we maybe wanted to do. 
Um, but it was nice to just spend a bit of time together. We went with Ian's brother and his family and um, some family that actually live in France came over and so we had a couple of days with them as well so it was really nice. Um, the weather wasn't great, it was wet more than it was um, dry but it was warm so that was okay. Um, yeah so that was that. Um, I'm just grab my tea. Um, so when we came back from holiday quite a few things have happened. Harry went back to school, he's now in year one and I cannot believe it. He is like absolutely thriving, thriving? Thriving um, at school. He loves it. He has completely come out of his shell. He's still a little bit shy but he's nowhere near the shy little boy that he once was. Um, he has got lots of friends and um, we had his parents evening the other week and his teacher who actually taught me at the same school so um said that you know he really wants to learn he tries his hardest at everything um because he's still seeing a speech therapist for his speech but that's definitely improved um but he's still a little bit behind sort of his peers but He's doing really well with his reading now. He's really coming on with that. So that's a good step in the right direction. Um, but mainly he loves his teacher. Absolutely adores him. He's forever wanting to take things in to show him. And, you know, oh, I'm going to tell him this. And do this, that and the other. And, but he is absolutely loving it. And um, just progressing really well. So I'm really, really happy with him. And he's such a lovely little boy. I know I have to say that because he's mine but he um he can be a little bit troublesome at times I think that's just frustration sometimes you know he thinks that he's older than he is sometimes he's only five so and quite a lot of his um class have sort of turned six so they're that little bit older whereas he's one of the younger ones um when we came back from holiday I actually um accepted a new job. It's a part-time job working for Bounty um, in our local hospital um, and I actually I, I saw it online and it was one of those things I thought oh that'd be quite it, it's a different job and why don't I just apply I've got nothing to lose um, you know I'd, I've got a part-time job that I do um, in the evenings anyway so that fits around the boys school and preschool so I went along for the interview, that was before we went to France and I was sort of in talks with the company and things before I went and um, when I came back they wanted to start my training so I went and did some training and bits and bobs um, it's actually um, to be a photographer within the hospital so I get to see the newborn babies and um, give out the bounty packs and um, take photographs sort of of the babies at the beds on a little bean bag and do cute little um, panels of photos and at the moment we've just got <laughs> Santa hats so we get to do that so that's really nice and it's it's nice because it's something that I enjoy doing my job that I had and that I still do it's only cleaning and it's not you know it's just to get a bit of extra money it's not something that I really want to do um, long term and the fact that this new job actually fits around the boys school it's um, basically I go into the hospital and see the mums that are there I, so I don't have set hours um, so I could be there for an hour if there's only one new mum or the ward could be full and I'm there for five hours um, but the days that I work are Thursday, Friday, Saturday so on a Thursday and a Friday Freddie's actually at preschool um, I've actually changed, well, I'll talk about that in a minute because his hours have changed a bit. Um, yeah, so Freddie's sorted, he's at preschool and Harry's obviously at school till quarter past three, so that's fine. Um, and then a Saturday, um, Ian will have them anyway because he's actually changed jobs, so that's, um, that's another thing. He used to work um, shifts, he'd do four on, four off and then... Um, he'd do two days and two nights um, so 
so that was a bit I mean kind of got used to it but it wasn't ideal he didn't really get to see the boys very often he wasn't here for evening meals I my job um is in the evening six till eight so I wasn't here to have the boys if he was at work they'd be at my parents and it was just a bit of a logistical nightmare really um especially with Harry at school now it wasn't fair on him he was going all over the place to in and fro in and um so in actually bit the bullet and decided to um leave his job that he was at and he's actually gone back to work where he was working previously um as a landscape gardener so he's Monday to Friday eight till five we can come home we can have tea together he'll sort of come home and I'll go on to my other job um, but I've reduced my hours a little bit there to sort of coincide with my new job with Bounty so at least the boys can stay at home and we don't have to rush around we can get home from school and they can just have a bit of a chill out time really um, so that's those sort of changes I will say within <laughs> changing his job normally I'd know when he was on days, he'd sort of go to bed a bit earlier because he did 12 hour days um, and get up early to go to work, which that was fine. When he was on nights, I'd sleep quite well because I'd have the bed to myself and then he'd have his four days off. Now, neither of us can get used to like sleeping. We can't, neither of us has slept very well for the last couple of weeks. I think it's because he's not used to getting that full night's sleep so he's waking up at sort of half four when he normally would have got up to go to work and I'm just not used to him being there every single night so we're gonna have to try and work on that I think because it's killing us a bit at the moment. Um, Freddie's hours at preschool, he, he's three now, he turned three on Monday, last Monday and um so he won't get his funding until after christmas for his 15 hours um but at the moment he's doing two mornings quarter to nine until half past 12 so he stays for lunch now so he's he's enjoying that and then from january he'll do one f uh, two full days until three o'clock and then one day until half past 12. um he loves it absolutely loves it and I think it's helping him as well with you know sharing and just and as well we're gonna um, get him seen by the speech therapist because he's definitely he's not as bad as Harry I wouldn't say but I don't know if that's just because I've got Harry to compare him with he's quite um he's starting to get very frustrated because he's trying to tell us things and we don't understand what he's saying um but he, quite a lot of things he is you know his speech is, is fine in quite a lot of ways so but I want him to be seen earlier because Harry didn't get seen until he was just starting school um so I don't think that's really helped him whereas Freddie won't start school until 2017 he'll be one of the older children in his, in his class um so I'd rather him get seen now and be sorted by the time he goes to school so that's all of that so I've got a little friend joined me he wanted to can I see what I was doing? So he's going to have a little five minute on the yeah. iPad, aren't you, Fred? Yeah, ma. Yeah, okay, you've got to sit quietly. <laughs> um, I've forgotten where I am. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I really want to get sort of a bit of a schedule going, really, for myself. Um, now that I'm out of the house three days um, for definite with work, um, I want to sort of know that I can do a little bit for my blog maybe and a bit of cleaning. I don't want to have to because normally I would just do everything all on one day, like clean all on one day. And I'm not one for doing stuff every week, I will admit. Yes. What is it? Oh, Paw Patrol. Can you sit and watch it quietly? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, I kind of do everything all at once, but I want to give myself things that I can do each day and I know that it will be done, um, especially knowing that Ian's at home in the evenings, um, he can help me out a little bit. 
I really want to update my blog um, I don't know if any of you've got any tips of like you know where to go I know I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of money on it and that's fine that's kind of inevitable really um, but I just feel like it's quite plain and doesn't really help to promote it if that makes sense and I know I really need to do some work myself I need to up my posts and things but that's something else that I want to work out in my like sort of said schedule um I want to start back doing meal plans because um, I'm gonna be shopping weekly now I think before I was shopping monthly and it just wasn't really working for us I'd sort of meal plan for a couple of weeks and then just wing it really um, but now and again, now I know Ian's home for the evening meal every night. So, and we'll all be in one place. So I know I can make a meal, even if I whip off to work and eat mine when I come back. The boys have done a fed and Ian can have his when he comes home. Um, so that's another thing that I want to start doing. And it's just going to be nice to eat as a family as well. Um, three nights a week, I will leave about 10 to 6 to go Mama. to my part-time job. Yes, ready? Right here. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. The ladies. Um, so it will be sort of, we'll be passing ships, he'll come in and, and I'll leave. Um, but then sort of two nights of the week I'll be here um, all evening. So that'll be really nice and it'll be nice to like, be able to put the boys to bed and um, do Harry's reading with him and things like that and just not have that rush after school. Um, what else? Oh, I'm going to London this weekend. Um, I'm going to the Good Food Show. I went last year. Um, I'm going with my mum and my nan and my sister. We're actually staying over the, for a night. We've got a really good deal. Um, I think we're staying at XL at London Docklands, I think it is. Um, but we paid forty pounds, forty pounds, yeah, forty pound for um a room and an evening meal. Um, so that's really good. And then I think on the Sunday we're just gonna have a sort of mooch around really because I think our train's at half past two, so we haven't got lots of time. But it's not like a let's go shopping because we're gonna have to take our um overnight stuff with us, and I'm sure we will um buy bits at the Good Food Show. Um, we're going to see one of the shows in the theatre, we're going to sort of see Tom Carriage. Um, I'm quite looking forward to that, I like him actually, I think he's a really good chef. He's quite local actually as well. Um, so that's that. Um, but yeah, I just, two boys, two dogs, well three boys including him, I just feel like I'm busy but I haven't really got anything to show for it. Um, I want to connect back with you know the great YouTube community that because I've m met and I speak to such a lot yeah, of man. really lovely mums. Yeah, is yeah. that right? And um, yeah, I just want to be back being a part of it really. And yeah, man. McQueen. McQueen. Yeah. Oh, wow, you found loads of people. Um, Queen. Yeah. I, I just, I'd like to Queen. get to know my viewers as well, you know, if you're... Queen, Ma. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, McQueen, that's right. If there's any videos that you'd like me to do or um, anything you'd like me to write about on my blog that I've sort of mentioned but maybe haven't gone into over there, then that'd be great. Just let me know. <laughs> and he <laughs> thumbs up in. Yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah, I'd like to know you as viewers, so leave a comment and let me know um, how long you've been watching or if this is the first time you've watched any of my videos. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'd like to know um, who watches. That'd be great. I hope this little update uh, wasn't yeah, too... Yeah, yeah. Freddy, wasn't too rambly and um, I sort of touched on everything and where I've been the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. But I hope to see you more often. 
I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. You say bye.